Well, happy Wednesday, everybody. Welcome to another break here from Bounty Hunter Breaks. It's Boba Fett me. And on this fine Wednesday evening, I was kind of itching for something to rip, so I ran out scouring Targets and Walmarts to see what they might have. And lo and behold, walking into Walmart, and they have... What typically you find at Walmart, they have the, it's like the collector's box, I guess you'd say, and then their blaster box, and it's a little bit bigger than a normal blaster because it contains an oversized young gun rookie card. I suppose I could tip it back on my camera here, and so you get one exclusive oversized young gun rookie card per box. So technically there should be two young guns in each of these. So I'm kind of curious compared to the ones I got from Target for the blasters where you get a single young gun. If these also just contain a, in the packs a regular single young gun. And then what do you get out of these? Do you get two young guns out of these boxes or not? So price-wise, these are the same price as the Target ones, even though it's an oversized box, $20. On the other hand, these, which also contain the exclusive die-cut tribute card from 94.95 design, uh, three-card pack. These ones are, I think it was $38, $37.50. So, I mean, if you want to split hairs, $37.50, $50, or $40, however you want to say it. So, yeah, we'll get into it here. I'm going to, before I start ripping, though, I'm going to grab a couple sleeves out so that way I don't have to keep grabbing for them inside the package. But let's see what we can pull out of this. So, hopefully, everybody's. If you are getting together, it's just your immediate family for Thanksgiving. It's not large groups, but again, it's to each their own. I suppose you can't dictate what people are going to do. They're going to do what they want to do. So here's our packs, and then here's our exclusive Jumbo Young Gun. So our first one is Philip Broberg for the Oilers. It does have a little bit of curve, and of course that edge is, yeah, the corners are not the best. And sadly, they didn't wrap them like they did last year's or the year before's. So yeah, I have to back way up for you to get it all in frame. So if you compare the card. So that's the first one. Let's start ripping. Oh. That's the only thing I don't like about the pack. They are really tough to get to crack open. So we start off with a Brendan Gallagher, Lindholm, Jack Eichel. And our first one is a UD portrait of Logan Couture, Dvorak, Jean Gabriel Peugeot. Nikita Zatsev for the Senators and Lars Eller. So pack two. Yeah, so I'm going to have to just give each one a little bit of a nip. I don't want to damage them if I can at all possible. Alex Iafalo, Nick Letty, Elvis Mers Lickens, Peter Mrazek, Rasmus Dahlin. Drew Doughty, Noah Hannafin, and Carter Hart. And I don't remember, I think that was one Dazzler that I was getting per blaster as well. And they're like the green ones. Jonas Duncott, Dun Dunsko, I guess. Darcy Kemper, Martin Jones. Philip Forsberg, Quinn Hughes, and I really like that retro jersey. J 
Jacob Truba, Joe Pavelski, and Brian O'Reilly, UD Canvas. That's kind of a cool shot with the spotlights on the ice. I wonder if that was during the Stanley Cup Finals after they won and receiving the, an award because I see on the back it shows the presentation of the trophy. So here we go. We do have our young gun. Nico Koskinen, Silverberg, Matt Deshane, Aaron Ekblad, Jake Gensel, Alex O, Nikita Gusev, and Joseph Wall. And that one's actually not, not bad. That's got like four fairly sharp corners. I don't really see the rounded corners. Although maybe that bottom right one is Got a little bit of a curve to it. So it's looking like the single young gun per blaster is holding true as well for these ones. And there's our Dazzler. Marcia So, Duncan Keith, Vincent Trochak, Dylan Strom, Adam Fox, second year, Tyler Sagan, Braden Point, and Matt DeShane Dazzler. Greeny, green, green. Last pack. Probably going to be a UD portrait because I don't think the... Although it could be the international one of the flags. Carter Hutton. Neil Pionk. Philip Hronick. Nicholas Ellers. Antisimov, Blake Coleman, Marcus Johnson, and Eric Carlson. So yeah, just another bland base pack. Uh, let's see. Slice here. Oh. This has got all the packs kind of crammed in on one side. There's like literally nothing on the, the back side. Everything's in the front of the box. So there's all our packs. Empty box. And one of these should be, yeah, there's the special exclusive pack. So we got basically 10 packs with that one special pack. So I'm hoping for minimum of two young guns in this box. Nathan McKinnon, Velasic, Patrice Bergeron, one through 100 checklist. So I've got a canvas, Aaron Ekblad again. Dennis Donskoe, Darcy Kemper, and a Jacob Vorchek. Voracek, the Flyers, canvas. Again, it's just amazing how the, those are so hard to get popped open. Vincent Trocek, Miko Koskinen, Jacob Silferberg, Matt Deshane, Alex Tuck, Victor Hedman, Bobby Ryan, and Alex Ovechkin Dazzler. Now this is like hobby, because it's the blue. That's interesting. The blasters have the green, but these jumbos have the normal blue. Eric Carlson, Philip Peronek, Jonathan Marcheseau, Duncan Keith, Igor Shosturkin, John Moore, Brock Besser, and Leon Dreisaitl. UD Portrait. Yeah, I don't know why I'm doing that, but I guess I feel like it. 
since he did win a postseason award. Carter Hutton, Neil Pyong, Jordan Ellerby, John Gibson, David Perron, Mark Shifley, Vander Kane, and Ryan McLeod, Young Gun. So there's one. So will there be three? If there were three, that'd be awesome because that would definitely make me, even if it's more money, go for these versus Alexander Weinberg, Marcus Nikas, Jeff Petrie, Josh Manson, Philip Zadina, Kivo Teravainen, Saros, and is it just a regular base? It is. John Tavares. So that was just a complete base pack. This looks like a young gun in this one. If I was to guess. Will Butcher. Demko. Danton Heinen. Dano. Varlamov. Rocco. Grimaldi, Zach Wierenski, and I think it's the dude. It is. There he is. Another laugh. And I will top load that as well, just to be on the safe side. Slide him there in the back. So already, that's a win in that box. Definitely better than what I did Monday. Kirby Doc, Noel uh, Akari, good question. Kevin Hayes, Connor McDavid, and Thomas Shabbat, beauty portrait. Let's get one more young gun. Let's get a young gun canvas. How about that? I mean, I'm not being greedy or anything, but this is probably just an all base pack. Nick Suzuki. I, was, I didn't, didn't get him er, earlier. Lars Eller, Morgan Riley, Frank. Patrano. Carter Hart, Christian Dvorak, John Gabriel, Matthew Kachuk, Nick Fulgino, Jared Spurgeon, Charlie Coyle, Noah Hannafin. Last pack before the bonus pack. Tyler Myers, Kevin Fiala, Chris Letang. Hey, there we are. Three young guns. Martin Jones, Philip Forsberg, Rasmus Dahlin, Drew Doughty. So yeah, already I would say that the, the Jumbos, however you want to categorize them, the Jumbos, the Megas, I would definitely choose that over this. Even though you could get a laugh Jumbo. So, so do we get an Alexis? die cut as well that is the question well we got a little grin that is nice looking a Gabe Velarde um, Maxim Lutinov or Lutinov I'm gonna sleeve those just to protect those before I jump into the next one, so. And I guess I'll go back to the, the blaster style box first before jumping into the next mega.
This one's all tore to heck. So that's all floating around in there. So who do we got? Looks like a Golden Knight. Peyton Krebs. Jumbo Young Gun. So like I said, if you compare the two cards, it's like a 4x6, I believe. Pack number one. We'll just keep, we'll just go to the hits, Alex Ovechkin, and try to speed this up because I'm kind of dragging going every card. That's just an all base pack. This is probably my young gun, if I was to guess. canvas so base 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 and the Sebastian Ajo canvas and Jonas Johansson oh wow that's like a two hit bar pack Jonas Johansson Young Gun and a Nick Suzuki Dazzler. That's kind of crazy to hit both in the same pack. I don't expect to hit anything else in this box. Another Kyler Yamamoto. Looks like another all base pack. Elvis. Another all base pack. Okay. Last box. And it'd be a crazy two laugh pull, or maybe a canvas laugh. Okay, there it is. I'm gonna say, where the heck is the bonus pack? But so here we go. We're gonna. Like I said, kind of slam through this. Oh, Kiefer Bellows right in the first pack. Young Gun. For the Islanders. I don't know why that that... has got so much marks on that freaking... Penny sleeve. Next pack. Wow, a canvas young gun checklist. What the heck? What's the chances of that? And it's not even the same, it's not like the regular Young Gun Checklist. This one's got Robertson on it. Both Robertsons. Nick and Jason. I guess the question is, are they brothers? I, I haven't been following them enough to know, are they brothers or not? It looked like they could be brothers. Feel free to leave it down in the comments. Are they brothers or related at all? Or just absolutely no relation? Just happen to share the same last name.
because I could look it up, but I mean, oh, we got a, a relic in this one. A Joel Erickson. Joel Erickson Eck. Is that, yeah, I guess it is his last name, yeah. UD Jersey. And I was going to say, I don't know where I got my fat sleeves, but I see them now. Really not super thick, but let's leave it and put it in a thick, thicker sleeve. So yeah, so far I would rec highly recommend getting the, even though it's more money, you're definitely going to get more hits, more young guns. This is like a, yeah, just a full base pack. And this one looks like another straight base pack. Back to back base. Oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> Come on. And yet another straight base pack. That's back to back. Oh, we got another young gun. I think that was the the first jumbo I got, the Philip Broberg. Sharp corners on that one. As long as I can. Come on. Next one, canvas. Jonathan Bernier for the Red Wings. Two packs left. Can we do it? Can we? Repeat the success of the first jumbo. And that's all base. Last pack. Last chance. Last chance. Oh, looks like a UD portrait. Hamilton. And a Tuka Rask, UD Portrait. Whoops, sorry about that. Now I'll go into our bonus pack and then we'll do our uh, nice little hit recap. Another little grin. Oh, we got a red Tyler Benson. Should look to see what. What the odds are for a red? Up, 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 up. Assortment for contributes three and one. Uh, it doesn't say anything about the color. Unless I miss it, I don't see anything here saying that. Although it does say you can get the mem cards. But yeah, I don't see anywhere there that it tells you what the chances are for a red versus the gold, the regular gold. So I'm going to sleeve up these two other two. It's like the same exact cards. It's like, really? Okay, so I'm going to take and pile up some UG canvas. Canvas. 
Okay. So, quick hit recap. You got the Joseph Wall Young Gun, Ryan McLeod, Martin Cout, or Cot, sorry. Jonas Johansson for the Sabres, Kiefer Bellows, Philip Broberg, the UD Canvas Young Gun check list, which has the Jason and Nick Robertson of the Leafs and Stars, and the big one that came out of that was the Lafiniere. And then the other, we'll call them hits, I suppose we'll do this one first. I get the Relic, the UD Game Jersey for Joel Erickson Eck for the Wild. And then for Dazzlers, I got a Matt Duchesne and Nick Suzuki and a blue Alex Ovechkin. So two green and blue. And then for the fancy 94-95 die cut inserts pack out of the monsters or jumbos, I got the Tyler Benson red. I got two Timothys, Lilligrens for the Leafs, two Gabe Velardis. And then a uh, Maxim Lutinov. So yeah, that's it for the break. I, again, as I say, I would, if I had my druthers, I would definitely be going for for these boxes over the, the ones with the oversize. And oh yeah, I kind of skipped on that, my two oversized young guns. These were my two oversized young guns. I got the Peyton Krebs and the Philip Broberg for the Oilers. Nice looking cards. Although, I think it was this one. The Broberg was in the first one, and the corners are kind of messed up because the thing is, that corner is like almost dog eared. And then the other one was down here, I think it was, or was it up top? Yeah, it was the bottom one over here. It's kind of crunched. So, yeah, if you were looking to grade it, it wouldn't grade very well. Anyway, that concludes this break. I appreciate you taking the time to watch it. And as always, keep collecting.